focused on surrender. So let go of any expectations you have for yourself, for the practice, and just take each moment as it arises, breath by breath. So we're going to start in our seated position. You can sit in hero's pose. Of course, you can sit in Sukhasana. You can sit in your Siddhasana or your half lotus or full lotus position. And then bring your shoulders up towards your ears. Try to even tighten the muscles of your face. You can make little fists if you want to. And then do a big exhale out the mouth. Just a let go of any tension. And then with your eyes closed and your palms facing down, you can bring your thumb and your index finger to touch. Begin to bring your attention to your breath. Listen for the sound of your breath. The expansion of the breath on the inhale and the contraction of the breath on the exhale. And as you do this, notice if there's any area of the body that feels particularly tight. There's any area of the body where you notice there's a folding. That may be up in the shoulders, the shoulders still close by the ears, in which case just allow the shoulders to relax down. Think of lengthening the neck. Maybe you notice it in your low back that there's a folding. See if you can just soften a little, allowing the low back to release. And then continue to bring your attention to the breath. Noticing the rise and the fall of the breath in the body. Seeing how light the body begins to feel on the inhale. And how grounded and stable on the exhale. Now for six breaths, we're going to inhale for a count of four. Pause for two and exhale for a count of six. And we'll do this six times. So inhaling, pausing, and then exhaling through the nose. So again, inhaling for four, pausing for two, exhaling for six. And feel your whole body relax with each exhale. Three more. Two more. Last one. Now bring your hands together at your heart center. Take a moment to bow your head to your heart. Take another inhale through the nose. And a long exhale out the mouth. Okay, now from here, we're going to come into Bhattakanasana. So you can bring your legs just a little further rather than having the heels close. We're going to come into eagle arms, first with the right arm underneath the left, and then just folding in. Now you can fold in at any point that feels right in your body. If you would like to include props, you can either have, of course, a bolster or a pillow. And then just place it in front and then just soften into it. And feel your breath move into your back body.
And two more breaths here. And then slowly bring yourself back up. And we'll just switch the arms. So left arm's gonna come under. And then again, just folding in. And as you inhale, send your breath to your low back. And then as you exhale, feel yourself drawing a little closer in between your legs. Feel again the expansion of the breath, noticing but as you inhale, the side body expands. And then as you exhale, you can continue to soften into the depth that feels right for you and your body right now. Again, two more breaths here. And then slowly bring yourself back up and release your arms. Bring your arms up though, interlace your fingers behind your head. Let your head fall into your palms and just for now, pull the elbows away from each other. Okay, now bring your elbows in and just begin to draw your chin towards your chest, using the back of your hands here at your head to guide your chin just a little closer and let your shoulders relax down. Slowly bring yourself back up, bring the elbows out, reach your arms up, and then round your back. And as you round your back here, just begin to bring a little bend to the elbows. And again, let the shoulders relax down. And then draw your arms back up. Take an inhale through your nose. And then exhale, bring your hands together here. Now from here, you can just move your prop off to the side. Guide your knees forward. And then either, if you have a bolster, you can run it along your mat and you can let your spine rest on the bolster. Or you can move again if you have a pillow and you can have this to rest for your head and just shimmy your buttocks in towards the soles of your feet and slowly make your way down into your saddle pose. Now, if you feel that this is maybe a little too deep for you, then you can of course always instead bring the bolster between your legs at your heels. And with that, rather than being in saddle pose, you could be in a Sukhavarasana. Otherwise, just allow yourself to relax in the position that you've chosen. Hands can be on your chest, feeling your breath beneath your palms. The expansion of the breath, raising the palms. And of course, the exhale, drawing your palms in as your navel draws closer towards your spine. wherever you're holding any tension, surrender to gravity. Let your body feel heavy and weighted in this moment. And notice how when you do, you can relax into it. There'll be a lightness in the body through the breath. But there'll be a nice feeling of stability, and again, a groundedness just from feeling the weight of gravity and letting yourself, again, 
soften and surrender to it. One more breath here. And then slowly begin to make your way up. And as you make your way up, bring your knees in towards, and then take now your pillow or a gate of bolster, bring yourself forward, and we're gonna come into pigeon. So just extend your leg now back behind you and you can start to guide yourself down. Now you can bring your hands together in prayer and bring your thumbs to the nape of your neck. But if it feels better to just let either your forehead come down or even your cheek, then you can do so. And if while you're here, you feel that you'd like to get a little deeper into the hip, just guide your right ankle further away from your left hip, draw your right hip crease back, and then again, just relax into the position, keeping the breath nice and even and steady and deep. And now slowly begin to guide yourself up and just move over onto your right hip and bring your feet and just let your feet, your legs windshield wiper from side to side. And then cross your ankles and we'll just come right into the other side. So taking now the right leg back. And again, as you Soften into the pose a little more, then you can determine for yourself if guiding your ankle further away is going to feel nice for you. And two more breaths here. And slowly begin to make your way up and again guide your weight over onto your hip, 
You can bring your feet once more just to the edge of the mat and then windshield wiper from side to side. Now again, you can just take your pillow or your bolster, bring it behind you, guide yourself up and then slowly make your way down. Now, once you make your way down, extend your left leg, bring your right knee in towards your chest. And then just take your hand, guide your knee across your body. Now, again, if you have another pillow or you have your bolster, you can place it underneath your right knee. And then you can either bring your arm out to the side, or if you prefer, you can take your hand by your side body and just continue to observe with the breath. Feel the breath underneath your hand. And use your exhale to relax even more, keeping the right shoulder down. And then slowly come back to center. Bring your knee in towards your chest and then bring your foot down. Now we're gonna guide ourselves over onto our right side and take the right arm and draw it back. Now, as you draw your arm back, you can again, if you have a pillow or you have your bolster, you can just let your head rest here and then roll the left shoulder back and you can either interlace your fingers here or you can take your left hand and guide it underneath your body. And then just keep rolling back. Now you do want to have your right palm resting on your floor. And just breathe into the stretch here for your shoulder. One more breath here. And then use your left hand to help assist you in guiding your arm out from underneath, coming onto your back, and now extending your right leg and bringing your left knee in towards your chest. Now from here, take your hand to the outside of your knee, draw your knee across and have your left shoulder down either with your palm up or again, you can have your palm by your side, feeling your breath beneath it. And just continue to guide your knee closer towards the floor. Or again, if you have a prop underneath, just feel the knee softening into the prop. Keeping those still, the left shoulder rooted down. And then two more breaths here. Now slowly come back to center. And then again, guide both of your knees over now to the left side. Take your right hand, help use it to assist you in getting the left arm. And then from here, again, you can either bring your arm Slide it underneath and roll your right shoulder back. Or you can interlace your fingers this way, bringing your arms up and rolling back on the left shoulder.
And two more breaths here. And then again, use your hand. Use that to help guide you and come back onto your back. Now from here, we're gonna come into legs up the wall. So bringing the legs up, if you don't have a wall right there beside you to rest your legs, just imagine there's a wall. Bring your hands beside you and breathing here. And four more breaths here. Last one. Good, now bend your knees, bring your knees in towards your chest, hug in as tight as you can, and then take your hands behind your legs and rock yourself up. Now, once you rock yourself up, right ankle is gonna come below the left knee. The left foot's gonna come over to the side, and then depends here, you may find that it feels nice to have a pillow, or if that isn't enough height, you can always, of course, fold, or if you have the bolster. And then just fold at the hip crease. You can be with your forearms, or again, you can place a pillow in front and just relax into it. And two more breaths here. And then slowly make your way. Bring your hands beside you. And then again, just windshield wiper from side to side. And now we'll do the other side. So just walking your foot over to slide it and then use any pillows that you'd like to or need to. And then the same thing, just start to fold in. And two more breaths. And then once more, bring yourself up. 
onto the other side, and then just windshield wiper from side to side. Now cross your ankles, unless you feel comfortable in a half lotus position. And we're just gonna come into an open twist. You can bring a bend to your left elbow if you wanna twist just a little deeper. And then come back, same thing, other side. And then come back to center. We're going to do four seated cat cow here. So just drawing the chin in towards the chest, rounding the back, and then pulling the heart forward, bring the chin up. And again, just round in. And come forward. And two more. And last one. And then come back to a neutral spine. Bring your hands back together at your heart. Take a deep inhale through your nose. And a long exhale out your mouth. Now gently opening your eyes. Bring your legs out onto your mat. Again, just scoot yourself up. Slide down onto your back. Bring your legs up and just let your limbs feel really heavy and weighted. And you can circle your wrists, you can circle your ankles. But feel again the weight of gravity. And two more breaths here. And then bring your knees in towards your chest, hugging as tight as you can. Take as big of an inhale as you can. And then as you exhale, extend your legs out and your arms. And let your whole body just fall open. Palms open, ready to receive insight, inspiration, guidance. The feet soft and relaxed. And letting go of any of the world's issues, troubles, concerns, and just again being with the breath in the moment and letting yourself drift into that. That feeling of ease 